you know, if we are talking about musicians being able to be in society in a kind of congruent way, which is challenging for some people because they're not the average kind of person, some people, when you're working for Support Act and you're trying to bridge that gap, what are those challenges that you see musicians facing just relating to everyday life? Well, the biggest challenge, I think, is that um, musicians think they're financially inept. Right. They, um, they don't think they are or they're absolutely indifferent um, to looking after their finance. A, a big problem is the number who don't do their tax. Yeah, that's and scary. That it is very scary. Yeah. And that, that came to the fore with uh, JobSeeker yeah, and sure. JobKeeper. Um, and um, really, it's not that hard. No. You know, and it's just um, making that jump. Uh, so I, I'd say um, uh, financial intelligence is something that could be uh, explored. Yeah. Um, also, um, I, well, I, basically, I think that musicians um, and crew in particular are, are just people who, who, as I said before, are, are, um, find it hard to operate efficiently in a straight world hmm. and um, so th but they have to learn to do that and uh, and so the, the challenge is to get people to operate in a more mainstream manner that's but all we've got time for today I'd just like to uh, thank our sponsors Bondi Surf Lifesaving Club Big Spins Ross Ahern Waverley Council and my panelists who are fantastic thank you yourselves uh, I've been Jake Stone and if you want to get some more information about the Sydney International Women's Jazz Festival just go online and type that into Google and then press on the thing that comes up that says Sydney International Women's Jazz Festival. It will take you to a website and then you'll find out the information there. Thanks so much. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. Bye. <laughs>